No, I understand about quality. I understand about fabrics. I spent 10,000 hours at this. I dedicated my life to this. Then a lot of people say, okay, well, you know, oh, you have to do music. I'm gonna keep doing music, but what if people told me I couldn't rap? What would have happened? What if people told me I couldn't perform? You know, I'm only 36 years old. I have other goals and other things, and I'm gonna use my platform, every platform to stand up and say, I wanna make something. I wanna make the next Ralph Lauren. And I'm, I'm, people don't stand up and protect their dreams. People are too scared of getting, you know, You know, so many people are just so fucking obvious. They don't even realize that when they box me in or try to verbally put me in some type of box or put Donda in a box, that they're really showing their level of ignorance. They're putting themselves in a box. And if everything I did failed, which it doesn't, it actually succeeds, but if everything I did uh, failed, just the fact that I'm willing to fail is an inspiration. People are so scared to lose that they don't even try. Like, because I'm here to follow my dreams, you know, and help other people follow their dreams and inspire people who are dreamers. It's crazy that we live in a world that if you're super positive and super creative, that it's scary. So what does that tell you about the mentality of most people? Equated yourself to all these different people, you know, Da Vinci, Walt Disney, Steve Jobs, Michelangelo. And he's asked, how would you define a genius in that context? But also, why do you feel the need to call yourself that? Because otherwise, I'm called celebrity. I'm called nigger. I'm called rapper. And when they use the word celebrity, nigger, or rapper, it's not in a positive way. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to define who I am. You know, it's not letting them know by, you know, wearing a suit or letting them know by wearing a Rolex or letting them know rap. It's letting them know by saying, let's start with this. I'm a creative genius. When someone comes up and says something like, I am a God, everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was, a God. I just told you, that's who I think I am. Would it have been better if I had a song that said, I am a nigga? Or if I had a song that said, I'm a gangster? Or if I had a song that said, I am a pimp? All those colors and patinas fit better on a person like me, right? But to say you are a God, especially when you got shipped over to the country that you're in and your last name is a slave owner's. How could you say that? How could you have that mentality? I mean, I slowed down by their perception of themselves. If you're taught you can't do anything, you won't do anything. Mm. I was taught I could do everything. <laughs> and I'm Kanye West at age 36. <laughs> so just watch the next 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not in a place where people can only have one career or one profession throughout their entire life. So the things that I put into my music, I put them into the shoes and they worked. How many times you've been blocked from being able to excel? And we constantly trying to pull each other down, not doing things to help each other. That's my point. I have turned my back on the idea of victimization mentality. We, we always pointing at the white people but yet, we want to spend all of our money on luxury as opposed to going and buying some land. America is for sale. And there's a lot of barren land. Disney bought a lot of it in Florida. But the culture has you focused so much on fucking somebody, bitch, and pulling up in a foreign and rapping about things that could get you locked up. And we brainwashed out here, bro. Come on, man. This is a free man talking. That, you know, the first time I saw a, a white Lamborghini Countach in real life, and I remember the guy said I couldn't even touch the car, and I was obsessed with this car as a child, or, you know. Is there any yeah. shoe that that Countach is, uh, you know, kind of represented in? There's a little bit of Lamborghini in everything I do. All right, all right. <laughs>